Woman's corpse and 30 cremated remains found after ex-funeral homeowner gets evicted from house. As. Associated Press. A financially troubled former funeral homeowner kept a deceased woman's body in a hearse for two ye. Ours at a house where police also found the cremated remains of at least 30 people, authorities said. Friday in the latest case to underscore lax oversight of Colorado's funeral industry. The grisly discovery occurred Feb. 6 during a court-ordered eviction of a house rented by Miles Harford, the 33-year-old owner of Apple. O Funeral and Cremation Services in the Denver suburb of Littleton, Police Sci. Below are your comments. This increasingly common practice is sickening. A loved one of mine died recently and I dread the thought of her remains being desecrated. Harsher punishments are in order? Dot. This is ridiculous. A family that loses a loved one is already devastated but to find out you may have been given dust. Dry cement whatever. How low can a funeral home go? Shame on them. Typical of funeral homeowners and rest homeowners, they plead they are just bad at business instia. D of accepting that they are criminals. And the courts let them go because they don't have any money. If they threw a few of them in prison for 10 years, this wouldn't happen as often. As noted in the It makes sense. Many people don't care about customers or doing a proper job and many people hoard the excesses from work. Such as plumbers will have a lot of spare pipe and related tools. Electricians may have a lot of wire and electrical boxes and switches laying around. People take their work PR. While it is possible some of those ashes were of people the family members never picked up, it does. Seem he was using the business just to get money from people without doing the work. I worked at a restaurant a long time ago as a newbie, and everyone who worked there said they hadn't received any. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.